Hi there and welcome to the new Tableau tutorial. In this tutorial, I will going to give you three tips which will help to improve the performance related to your dashboard. And these tips are related to the filter. So sometimes you must have seen that how frustrating it is to work with the filters because it takes a lot of time when the data is huge as well as it does not give us the required output. So I will show you three tips which will going to help you a lot when you are working with the filters which will ultimately improve the performance. All right. So what do I have as a first tip over here? If you see we have a category value and we have customer name as well as the customer segment. So whenever we do a filter, let's say on consumer, you will see the information is changing along with this filter. So if I, if you just focus on this, let's say I remove the home office here, you will see that a change is happening over here. And one of the reason change is happening is because one of the settings which we usually do is to show only relevant values so what this only relevant value does is basically it once you select the query or select an option over here it fires a query not only to the visualization but also to here which ultimately fires another query to the database to select only relevant value so in term you are firing basically three different queries so in situations like this where you need to improve the performance uh, what you can do is reduce one query by keeping this all values in a database. So this way, whenever I select anything, this won't change that ultimately it won't fire any query and will not reduce the performance of the dashboard. So that's a trip trick uh, number one, what you can do to improve the performance. Another thing is if you have a long list like this, right? So in that case, one of the options is one of the best option is to basically select the multiple value drop down all right so if you have an if you want to get an option where you want to select multiple values you can select the multiple values as well and this way you don't have to have the entire space filled up with this and you will get all the information right up here in this in this uh, filter but what is the improvement well improvement is when you do one thing over here so in customize show apply button so this is very helpful in situations like this where you have hundreds of values so what i want is let's say i want i don't want to show these couple of guys over here but as you can see if i'm selecting you know this apply button is here that means it is holding the queries or it is holding the event to fire so that uh, your dashboard is not changing and it will only change when I will click on apply and this way we are not firing the multiple values or the multiple queries to the database and which is in turn returning the data set to it and reducing the performance so whenever you have a situation like this you always should have first of all for the improvement of the visual you should select the multiple values drop down and then you need basically the apply button which is present here in the customize over here so that's the uh, trick number two the trick number three which i want to show you is basically again related to the options which is exclude values so in many scenarios it happens that some uh, opposite of this what we are showing so for example we only want to show the information of these particular customers but not the rest of the one so what would you do you would you go and uncheck all of this one by one so one of the options that uh, you can set if this is one of your requirement is to exclude the values so what it does in turn is it will going to remove this and will only give you the information for the values which are unchecked over here so this way whenever your your end user is coming and saying okay what information i want to show further they can just uncheck that and that information will start appearing over here right click apply the information will display to you so sometimes we want to go in the opposite direction so if in that's the case you want to do you can improve the performance by having the exclude value this way 
you don't have to uncheck a lot of different values and you can simply go ahead and uh, start unchecking them and see only the relevant value for these customer so that's the main three tips and tricks which i wanted to show you the options which are available to us and sometimes uh, we are not aware about these situations and help us a lot when we do the right setting so filters are very very important but also uh, if you use it mindfully with the by, by knowing what options uh, or what in turn processing that they do then you will find it very useful so that's mainly i wanted to show you quick three tips and tricks and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic